right welcome back party people today we're working on the van the 2019 ford transit so on the way back from our last camping trip i got a low tire pressure message on the screen here let me show you yeah let's just turn the ignition on here low tire pressure all right so i've got the little flat tire warning with the informational message there so when i got home i thought well maybe i ran over a nail or a screw or something because we are all the time getting flat tires around here it seems like there's construction everywhere and we just pick up stuff so i was like uh i gotta take a look and see if i can find whatever is in this tire and uh, see if i can plug it but after going around and checking the tire pressure in all four tires they were exactly how i set those pressures before we left on the trip I had just previously rotated the tires from uh, from back to front so I'm not sure what happened so I was like okay let's try to retrain the sensors here maybe the tire pressure at one point got a little bit too far off and uh, maybe retraining will actually help out so I consulted my owner's manual all right I'm in the index here so it says tire pressure monitoring system reset procedure 295 Switch the ignition off, switch the ignition on with the engine off, turn the hazard flashes on, then off three times. This must be completed within 10 seconds. If the reset mode has been entered successfully, the horn will chirp, blah, blah, blah. Train the system sensors and the tires and the following we said. Move valve cap from left stem. So you gotta start the left front tire and then you go around clockwise. Decrease the air pressure until the horn chirps. Do that for all four. I've got my air pump nearby there. And let's go give this uh, retrain procedure a try. So ignition off, ignition on. Hazard lights, one, two, three. I heard the horn chirp. And it says train left front tire. All right, so let's go let some air out of the front tire. So now it says to train the right front tire. That'll hold it. All right, so the uh, retrain process for the TPMS sensors would always fail on the right front tire. The left front would work, but once I got to the right front, I would get the double horn chirp, and that means the uh, the retraining process failed so uh, i think i may have a problem with the sensor on the right front it could have uh, fell off battery could be dead I, I don't know it could be a multitude of things but i'm probably not going to spend the money to have that tire taken off the wheel and have the tpms sensor looked at right now because i'm getting close to having to put a set of tires on this van anyhow so i'm just going to wait until i get the new tires and then i'll go through and have all the sensors checked at that point but what i will show you is if you have four scan and you have the extended license to do configuration you can easily go in and disable the tpms or the tire pressure monitoring system on the van until you're able to get the sensors checked out otherwise you're going to get that uh, kind of nagging warning sign. So I'm going to go to Forescan here. I'm going to show you how to disable the TPMS and once you get your sensors checked out then you can go back in and do the opposite re-enable it. All right I've got my laptop over in the seat here. All right I've got my OBD link here. I'm just going to plug this into the OBD port and that is accessible through this little hatch here. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna switch over to OBS to actually record this, so you can see what's going on on the screen, and then I'll give you a look at the dash afterwards. All right, now I am over at my laptop. I'm gonna start up Forescan, and we'll click yes to this. Turn the ignition on. Click yes to this profile. All right, so now we're ready. I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side over here and click the configuration and programming icon. It looks like a little small microchip. And I'm gonna go down to body control module, central configuration main. And I'm just gonna click the play button down here at the bottom. It's gonna ask me about a couple of different things. Make sure your battery is charged, yada, yada, yada. 
one thing I would say here is you want to make sure that you're close to Wi-Fi or you have a internet connection of some type because it will need to download some uh, calibration files and those are on the internet unless you have them pre-downloaded to your laptop somewhere. You can find out more information about that at the Forescan website. I do not have those preloaded, so I'm always close to the Wi-Fi here, close to my garage. So I'm just going to click OK, and you're going to see it ask you to turn the ignition off there. And we get all of our information here, and I'm just going to type in the filter here, tire. That's going to get me down to what I'm looking for here. So tire pressure monitoring system. I'm just going to double click on that. So right now it's set to 5 TPMS with tire sensors on all four wheels. I'm just going to turn this off temporarily. Now a warning here, if you're the type of person that needs the tire pressure sensor to tell you if your tire is leaking air or if it's flat, then I suggest you not do this, but it's a safety thing. So if you don't feel safe doing this, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it. All right, so we're gonna change this to one without monitoring system. We're gonna click our check mark for okay down there. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and just click on right. And that's gonna save this to the ECU. And a couple more verifications here. We need to have the ignition on. I'm going to click here and it's going to start to write the configuration information to the module and it's going to ask us about the secondary bootloader. Again, these are calibration files that are not part of Forescan, so you're going to need either to pre download those or have an internet connection, which I already have. So I'm just going to click OK there. So it says blocks program successfully. Click on and then off. All right, and so that's how you disable it. Now, if I wanted to do the reverse, once I get the new tires and the sensors checked, I'm gonna go back in here and set this to five, click OK, right. Make sure we have the ignition on. And that is how we revert back. So just keep that in mind. And again, if you don't feel safe, I suggest not to do this. All right, so I'm gonna move back over to the dashboard now and let you see that. And you can see now we have no tire pressure warning lights. And if we go through the menu here now, let's see what we get. Information, system check, zero active messages. Let's turn this off. Try again. We're just ignition on. Make sure all the different warning lights go out. All right, so there are changes have taken place. So that's how you change your vehicle configuration to not have a tire pressure monitoring system. So once I get the tires put on and the sensors checked out and get everything fixed, I'll go back in and do the opposite of that procedure and set it back to full wheel TPMS. And that's gonna re-enable my tire pressure monitoring system. All right, so that's gonna wrap this video up, but I hope this information was useful to you. Till next time, skill up and ride, van up and go, and just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.